Good day, mates. My name is Bounce Welcome back to yet another episode of Check It Light. 30 frames again, so be right back. Alright, we are back. 60 frames. Anyway, there are some things that I need to show you and uh, tell you before I continue this episode. So first thing that I sh need to show you is I've built another electric furnace. Okay. Yes, I've built another electric furnace, and I do have it hooked up so it does have power. And not only that, but I've also built a backup geothermal generator. When this one stops working, this one will take over for it, because they can't work together for some reason. But yeah, we now have a backup generator. And we were making gold. Wait, masturbator, okay. I'm just a little bit confused because I was trying to record this episode earlier, but the server crashed. Well, not crashed, but it closed itself 10 minutes into the video. So, the stuff that I have in my inventory now, I put into my inventory in the middle of that video. So, oh my, okay, you know what, I'll be right back. I'm now getting messages from Steam. I just can't record anything, can I? Oh my gosh. Alright, we are back. He's going to message me again. Watch it. But anyway. Yeah, so we are making some gold because I needed to make some gold wiring. Cable. Gold cable. So that I'm able to get some more wiring. Is it gold cable or wiring? There we go. He just messaged me again. Yeah, it's gold cable. Okay. I don't know if we need more. I'm trying to remember what we were doing. Okay, yeah. But the point of this episode was that we're going to make more ion thrusters so let me show you off camera I did the I did the electric furnace I did the geothermal generator and I believe I did this off camera like I said I was going to is I built a platform that we're going to put the cannon on and that's what this is here the cannon on a platform with stairs going up so that's I was going to do that off camera anyway I told you about that and if you look closely down there you can see that Rib Slayer has actually... He's actually done a little bit of things. I just talked to him. And uh, he said, and I've seen it already, that he made an electric furnace. And he placed torches randomly around his house. He doesn't even know why he did that. But there we go. He's making some small advancements while I'm making pretty much no progress because I'm busy farming. That is the last thing that I did off camera that I need to show you. I did loads upon loads of nether farming along with rubber farming. So, we now have over a stack of rubber. And we have now 33 coal ore, 1 diamond ore, 32 lapis lazuli, 21 redstone, 50 copper, 28 tin. We already had the silver. I'm pretty sure we already had this lead. We now have some nickelite, we now have one green sapphire ore. And the rest of this, other than the about two stacks at nether rack, the rest of this we already had. And then all the gold and iron I've already macerated. This is the rest of the gold and the iron I've already used. I've had about like three stacks of iron. One stack of that iron, I don't even know what happened to it, it's just gone. It just disappeared randomly and despawned from the earth. So, I don't even know. So, to make up for that, that's why I'm making gold. Because I need gold cables. But, apparently, is it one or four? I need to look at this again. Iron. Dang it. And it's one. Every one gold ingot gives me eight iron. That is definitely a good trade-off, in my opinion. So, that's what I need gold for, because I need all the more iron. So, the four refined iron is for electronic circuits. Wiring, I have no idea what the wiring is for. For solenoids, probably, now that I think about it. So here we go. So these slots here that I'm highlighting are for the force field emitters. These slots here are for the ion thrusters. And these slots here are for something else that has nothing to do with the ion thrusters. So yeah, let us get to it. 
So first things first, we need to figure out what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to remember what exactly it is that I need to be doing at this point. Let's just gather up some more gold. Throw that in here, because why not? Okay, so. Four refined iron for the electronic circuits. I believe these were set aside for solenoids. Hold on. So I need four of these. I need four force field emitters. So let us go to here. So that means... I need four for one, so I need 16 solenoids, and there's three iron per solenoid. So three times 16, I believe it is. Wait, hold on. Let me do the math again, just in case. So four for one, four times four is 16. 16 solenoids, three per solenoid, so three times 16. Yeah, it is, okay. So that would be, is that 48? I believe that's 48. Which means we have enough iron for all the solenoids, but not enough wiring. Alright. So let us continue to make a ton of wiring. So we now have exactly a stack, which I know isn't enough, but let's see how much we can make out of it. Okay. Eight. So we now have one force field emitter, two force field emitters. Okay, there we go. So we now have two and a half force field emitters. So let's make some more. And bam. 22. Let's see how much this gives us. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. So now we need three more solenoids. Wait a second. Hold on. I may not even... Well, I probably do, actually. Where's the redstone? I don't have any left, which is why I gathered some more while I was in there. Alright. I believe this just gives us redstone. We don't need to do anything more to it. How much does that give us? Wrong button. Actually, that might have been the right button. Another. Click off. No. Stop. Pulverizer gives us 24. Macerator, dang. We hit the jackpot. Alright, so now, let us do this now that we have way more than enough redstone. Let us get this done. Oh crap, I did not mean to drop that. Alright. 10. That gives us one more solenoid. And, alright. Bam. 22. How much does that give us? The answer is enough. Bam. So if my math is correct, that is enough solenoids to do the job. But yep. Alright, now what goes in the middle? Force. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. So we need rubber, copper, and let's throw as many of them together as we can. Uh, wait, hold on, okay. So we can make five. I don't have enough rubber on me right now, so we'll make as many as we can with this. Bam. Well, crap, I did not mean to do that. I believe if I remember correctly, I could do this. If I remember correctly, this is a thing I could do. Dang it, it isn't. So I just wasted the copper. Wait a s- wait. Okay, so... This. Aha, there we go. So that's how I do it. Which means... Come here a minute. Uninsulated. Bam! 52! Throw that in there. Sort. Throw that in there. Sort. Throw this and this. Sort. Throw this in here and sort. What? Sort. Okay. So now we have that. I need the redstone. And we have... That should be enough. Well, let's grab some more. 
redstone just in case. Keep going. All right, now let's do this. We need only four. Why did I do that? Okay, never mind. And four. Four electronic circuits. And a ton of redstone. Now let's throw that in there, that in there. My throat keeps itching, so I'll be right back. I need to cough. Okay, so let's grab the redstone again. Now we need the lapis. Let us... Glowstone. That's probably not enough, so... Alright, throw this back in there. So let me try and remember how to do this. I believe this is the order it goes. Dang, I was right. Alright. Now let's throw all of this back in here. So now it goes like this, and that should be correct. That is correct. So now let's put it all together. Like that. No. Then like this. Four force field emitters. Now we wrong chest. Now we grab all this crap. Put that here. Put this here. Do that. Then I do this. Two more ion thrusters. Now I take these two that I already made off camera that took me about an hour and a half to make and get the resources for. Now we take this, now we take this, and then we go install. Bam. Alright, so now. How do we use it? Oh, okay, I see. That's how. So let's go out. We need to test. That uses way too much energy, and I don't think we need that much power in the jump. Okay, then I broke the game. Alright, so now let's cut it down to half. Half. Alright, a little bit better. Let's look at energy consumption. Uses energy fast, but not as fast. So let's go back. We're going to keep doing this until we find the right level of energy consumption and the right level of thrust. Let's go down to 40. 40? 40, or 40.2, that's fine. Thanks, phone. I do not care. Okay. 40 is not the best. 40 is practically trash. So above 40, less than half. So let's go here. 53.3 Let's try 53 Okay Let's look at the energy consumption Why is that using energy so fast? What the heck? Alright, so Let's go back here, jetpack Bring it up to 60 we're going to keep doing this until we find a good one. So it does... It seems to not like you moving while you're jetpacking. It doesn't seem to like that. Okay, hold on. Okay. So this is a good enough level. We don't need to use it that much. Let's go back down to jet boots, because we may not need the jet boots anymore now that we have a jet pack. Because the jet boots were always like a weaker version of the jet pack. Okay, I'm just looking right now. Hmm. We may not need the jet boots. Possible. What do we need for the energy shields? We need two force field emitters per energy shield. I don't think that's worth it. What about... Let's go back to advanced plating. I know it requires five diamonds per advanced plating, which we have. And then I know for a fact that we have infinite invar. Okay. Let us grab four iron and one of my many invars. I don't think we have enough invar ingots, so let us start smelting up some invar. All 
Alright, so let us make as many Invar gears as we can right now, which is three, I think. Yes, three. Three. So now we just need three more Invar ingots. And there we go. So then we do that, so now we have four Invar gears. So now let's just grab this. Five. No, wait, no, four. Not five. Four. Four. Four, four. Advanced plating. Now go over here. Diamond plating. Diamond plating. Diamond plating and diamond plating. Plate thickness. Six kilograms of weight. Wait, hold on. Let's look at that. Let's max that. So that's four left. That's one left. Wait a sec. So I have one left. So let's max this down, which gives me four left. Then let's max this. And I have one left. Okay. So if we max everything out, then we are not doing ourselves favors. So let's cut everything in half and see where that brings us. That sucks a lot. Okay. Now let's bring everything up to three quarters and see where that gives us. Three quarters. Bam. Alright, almost there, almost there. We almost have what we need. So now let's almost max everything out. Up to about here. That's power tool. Almost there. Let's just max one thing out. Now let's come close to maxing this out. Okay. There we go. Now we have full. Now let's slightly reduce this. So I weigh a lot, so I'm slow. But we now have full. Now let's go to sprint assist. Put power to half, walking assist to slightly above half. That is a little bit more than we need, except for walking assist. Walking assist, I think, can do better. Walking assist, go up. Power, go down. Yeah, it's about good. Now walking. Walking is a little bit too much. Bring down walking. It's, yeah, so walking... Sprint assist, bring up walking slightly. What's compensation? Sprint energy consumption. What does that even mean? I don't know. We've been fine without it, so it's fine. Walking, okay, that's a good walking. And this is a good sprinting. Actually, no. Let's bring walking up to here. That's a little bit too much. Okay, try to find a good balance. Close enough, that works. Now let's just put kinetic generator up to half. Sprint is still fine now that the kinetic generator weighs more. Sprint is still fine. Walking can do better. But now walking is fine. Okay. We are making more energy than we are losing when we have this set up. Okay, so we've done it. We now have full armor. Oh, jet boots though. The jet boots are now not strong enough. That's too strong. Actually, no. That's probably the jetpack. Alright, jet boots. Bring the jet boots down. That's good enough for the jet boots. Now let's try how strong do we need a jetpack to be to counteract all this. A little bit too much. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, so now we have everything set up. So that we're able to still get energy. Like we can't. We could. But it's now we're. We increased how much energy we're spending. Because we now have a jetpack. And uh, we have way more. So we need to increase energy in order to counteract the weight. But we now have armor to make up for it. And we've also increased how powerful our kinetic generator is. Can we increase solar generator? No we can't. That stays the same. Okay. Solar generator is also going to help. So when we don't jump at all, we are making more energy than we are losing. So that's a very good thing. So there we go. We have done that thing. We are now ready for a fight because I have max armor now. I really have nothing else to do at this point. 
I don't know what to do now. I've exhausted everything. Wait a second. I know exactly where, what we're going to do. Let's look at HV capacitors. We need the energy cell frames. And we've done this before, so we have all the machines we need. We just need to make the cell frames. And then we need redstone. And as you know, we have redstone. Sprint jumping sucks now because of the jetpack. Hold on. Yeah, the jet boots have practically no purpose at this point, so I'm just gonna take those off. Because the jet boots don't help whatsoever anymore. All they do is just take power, so salvage. Get two ion thrusters from that. So now, what the jet. What just happened? Okay then. Anyway, let's look back at this. Uh, not here. Power tool. We have ion thrusters, but now we have no use for them. We have two. I don't think there's. Well, I know there's this, but that's one, not two. Yeah, I don't think there's a use for these anymore. That's a shame. I just need to make two solenoids, and then I'll be able to swim good. Okay, so there is that. We've done some good things. I'm not going to sprint jump anymore. Well, I'm going to try not to, because sprint jumping is slower than normal sprinting. Wait a second. Wait a second. My jetpack isn't doing anything anymore. Put it to max. What the heck? It didn't do anything. Try this. Maybe I just need to increase the thrust. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, so I figured it out. We apparently do need the jet boots, because they can apparently work together. Really? So let's put that back, put it back to here. So they can work together? Hmm, okay. Yeah, the jet boots and the jetpack work together. Okay, so that is good to know. So that means if I have both, then that means I can reduce energy consumption. Because I don't need as much of a thrust in order to have the same effect. Okay, so let's try this then. Let's try this combination. And outside. Sprite. Nope, we need a little bit more thrust. Get out! Stop! Just stop. And then... Jetpack. Increase the thrust on the jetpack. Let's go back out. Alright, I'm just trying to find the right balance. Is this good? Really? It isn't, is it? Okay, then. Where am I? Okay, then. I just... Alright, so that happened. I broke the game, apparently. But yeah, I think we found the right level of thrust to get things to work. So that's good. We have now done that thing. We now have a jetpack, which takes away my ability to sprint jump. But it gives me the ability to boost up into the air like a boss. I think that's fair trade. Alright, so let's just look at this. Because this is what we're going to do next episode. We are going to create power tool weapons starting with the pla not the plasma the railgun and ending with the plasma cannon i don't know if i'm going to make the plasma cannon in the same episode as this but i know we're going to make the railgun because solenoids are easy hv capacitors will be easy i have two hardened glass 
out of four. Alright, so let's just look. How do I make hardened glass again? Pulverized it. Really? Really? That's really. Are you serious? Where's pulverizer at? Are you serious? That's easy! I could do that right now if I wanted to. So we're about to make the two pulverized obsidian that we need. There we go. And then what? Lead. Really? Lead, 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 silver. Where's the lead at? No idea where the lead's at. I know I have lead in here. Lead. I'm just gonna stop with the nether. No, not the nether redstone. I'm just gonna stop with that. I have way too much redstone right now. What the heck? And then we're about to make some lead dust. Or, yes, lead dust, right? Yep, okay. Now let's smelt up these. Some more infar. Awesome. We can give that to Rib Slayer as a gift, since I don't want him to go through all the trouble that I had to go through for 20 episodes. We only need one. What machine do we need to use? Uh, induction smelter. Which one is that? Awesome. Lead. That thing. And that should give us some hardened glass so that we're able to move on next episode and make a rail gun and two more hardened glass which means we take this hardened glass Wait, is that electrum how do I make electrum again electrum electrum blend silver and gold well I do have normal gold ores that I can do that with silver I already have silver, don't I? I need silver dust, though. Pretty sure. Silver dust. Or pulverized silver. But I don't want to waste that. I have one. Close enough. That's not going to be enough electrum, though, is it? That gives us two. That only gives us two. And this is going to give us... Is that eight? Eight. So if my math is correct, that only gives us eight electrum ingots, which gives us enough for two cell frames, which... Uh, gives us enough for two HV capacitors, which is one less than we need to make the plasma cannon and the rail gun. Okay, so that's a shame. We need to pulverize some silver then. Wait a second. I'm retarded. You know what? I quit. My life is just gone. I just threw my life in a hole the moment I threw those in the electric furnace. I just did that subconsciously. So it looks like we're pulverizing all of it then, because I'm stupid. Pulverize silver. Am I doing this right, or am I, again, mentally hurt? That's lead. Okay. Four electrum. Do I have any electrum already? Electrum, electrum. Um, no. Okay then. Good to know. Throw you in there and I'll just leave you to macerate. Silver. It is silver, yeah. How much do I need? I'm not exactly sure. I'll just pulverize two more silver up. And four silver, okay. Then we just need four gold dust and we'll be able to create some more. And there we go. Wait, so we made the exact amount that we need, didn't we? Oh, we're good. I'm good at this game. Now, some silver and gold. There we go, that should be the exact amount of electrum we need to do things correctly. Okay, 
So anyway, now that we've set up the foundation for our next goal, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this endeavor. If you like being here, then hit that like button. If you liked it a lot, then hit that big red button to subscribe. Anyway guys, thank you again for joining me, and may I see you in the next one, Bone Slayer, out.